Fiat's lineup has been devoid of desirable froth for too long, and, at least from an enthusiast point of view, it's a shortfall that can't be made up with yet another 500 derivative or the return of the TIPO badge, that is particularly so in the US, where the 124 is seen as key to Fiat's resuscitation following the ignominy of a 30-year hiatus. It's no coincidence that the model shares its name with Fiat's biggest U.S. hit, the original 124 Spider having enjoyed an almost two-decade production run following its launch in 1966. That car, along with the similarly long-lived Alfa Romeo Spider, helped to establish Italy's reputation for building pretty open-top sports cars. But they didn't perfect the idea and nor did they manage to sustain their success much beyond the 1990s. Instead, Mazda resurrected the Roadster as a real sales force, shifting a million MX-5s globally while cars like the Fiat Barchetta and Alfa Romeo Spider eventually wilted on the vine. So who better for Fiat to partner up with than the Japanese firm when it came looking for someone to share the cost of producing a bespoke rear-drive platform a decade later? Fiat, although it was almost alpha, gets to use its own engines and homage happy body while gaining space on the Hiroshima production line to account for the volume.